part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. You seem a bit... steady for such an outgoing lifestyle. <laughs> the life of an entertainer didn't suit me at all. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. He seemed willing enough to murder you for the game. Perhaps. I feel I'm the last to judge whether or not he would have actually used the blade. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. I... Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? Oh, no. I mean, yes. I meant, no, I, I, I don't... Well, if you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. I don't imagine many firstborn heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bald threw a knife, and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. I don't see the fault. You survived, as did your patron. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug... I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. 
You of all people should know you can't play the game without bloodshed. Never as the first resort, Inquisitor. Never as a way that makes currency of lives. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me. I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. I do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. I... Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? Oh, no. I mean, yes. I meant... No, I, I don't... Well, if you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Let's return to Skyhold before anyone notices. Inquisitor, may I have a word? I notice you've paid Lady Montelier quite a number of compliments. Yes, I enjoy her company very much. An entanglement with our ambassador seems most unwise. I asked Josephine to join the Inquisition because we needed a diplomat, not so she could be toyed with. I enjoy being with Josephine. I'm not trying to break her heart. Then I would be more cautious. Josephine's no stranger to courtly intrigue. But love, there she's an innocent. She has no idea you are truly attracted to her. If indeed you are. Yes, I'm very attracted to Josephine. Is that so? Whatever is between you, I ask that you treat her with kindness, for her sake, as well as yours. Whatever happens, I'm glad to see Josephine has a concerned friend here. <laughs> I have so few true friends these days. Those that are left I deeply cherish. I will not trouble you any further, but I do watch over my friends. Good day, Your Worship. Well, Liliana just gave me quite the speech. What about? About us. <sighs> oh, she is impossible. Might we discuss this somewhere more private? Liliana said I was an innocent in love? More or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor, I, I assure you. Would my attentions be unwelcome if they were romantic? What? Oh, no. <laughs> that is... We've only just... I didn't wish to presume you harbored any tender feelings for me. I have no objections. Presume away. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. How can you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? You've intelligence, elegance, and I always delight in your company. It seems most natural to want to be close to you. I would not object to a closer relationship between us, my lady. If that sounds agreeable to you. I'm actually quite glad Liliana prompted this talk. I suppose she was right after all. Please don't tell her I said that. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> 